So Pokemon Let's Go and Eevee are out now and the game is just full of childhood nostalgia going back to the Pokemon Yellow, Red and Blue days. But probably the biggest question for you guys out there is how do I catch all the Kanto starters? Because obviously you begin the game with either your choice of Pikachu or Eevee depending on your version of the game. But you can actually catch the three Kanto starters pretty early on into the game even though it does require a little bit of grinding so i'm going to show you guys how to do so in this video so the first kanto starter that's going to become available for you to acquire is actually going to be bulbasaur and as crazy and as blasphemous as it sounds you're actually going to be able to catch him in the wild he is located in the viridian forest and just walk around for a while and eventually one will pop up and you will have your very own Bulbasaur, as crazy as that sounds. So quick and easy, just catch him with the Pokemon Go system and add him to your team. So the final two starters will actually have you pretty much do the exact same thing in order to acquire them. So the next one available to you is my boy, my favorite, my favorite starter when I started playing the game over 20 years ago, that is Charmander. You can find Charmander's trainer north of the Nugget Bridge, north of Cerulean City, but the trainer requires you to capture 50 separate Pokemon in order for him to think that you're worthy enough to pass on his Charmander to you. It doesn't have to be 50 unique Pokemon, it just has to be en masse a lot in bulk, 50 total Pokemon. So. Don't be shy about catching Pokemon at the very early stages of the game. I know that I usually was. When I played the games, I didn't catch Pokemon en masse unless I was planning on using them on my team. But he does require you to have at least 50 Pokemon before you can enlist Charmander on to your services. So catch them all. Go catch them. Go catch them all. And last but not least, we have Squirtle, the final water starter from the Kanto region. And the encounter for Squirtle is actually very nostalgic. It's straight out of the anime as well as the manga because it really reminds you of the Squirtle squad. So when you enter Cerulean City for the very first time, you'll notice that Officer Jenny is blocking a door that blocks your path to reach Vermilion City. But after you defeat Misty at the Cerulean Gym and you talk to her again, a pesky Squirtle that is actually up to no good and trouble will actually draw Officer Jenny away from the door, which will give you pathway to Vermilion City. So after you go through the underground path and reach Vermilion City, you'll find Officer Jenny at the north end of the city near the entrance. And she is actually caught up to the Squirtle and it is she is looking for a trainer for it just to set it on the right path. So once again, if you have captured 60 Pokemon, she will pass along the services of the Squirtle to you. So that's pretty easy. You get all three Kanto starters fairly early on into the game. You do have to catch a lot of Pokemon along the way, a total of 60. And so just catch them along your way. Don't save them or don't bulk catch them at the end like I did. Do a lot of your catching in Mount Moon because there are a lot of Zubats in there along the way and just prepare to collect the awesome three Kanto starters by the time you reach Vermilion City. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. It's pretty awesome to get all three starters right away. Kind of back into the Pokemon Yellow days. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You found it useful. As always, if you enjoyed and you found it useful, a thumbs up is greatly appreciated. And I'm also doing a full Let's Play walkthrough of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee on the channel as well so if you are interested in that you can find the link to that video in the description but other than that thank you guys for watching and as always have a fast day